بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back It is time for the morning message and uh, allow me to start the morning message of verse from the Noble Quran Allah Azza wa Jal says نحن نكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم We write down what they did during their life and what they left behind What marks are you leaving behind? What khair are you leaving behind? What thawab are you leaving behind? Here comes the, the, the role of the per, perpetual charity. as jariya taking part in the building of a school, in the building of a masjid, etc., etc. The Rotorvacht Islamic Society in Cape Town, they are purchasing a piece of land where they're going to be investing it to serve the deen, madrasa, ta'aleem, tahfiz, etc. And alhamdulillah, uh, they have collected great deal and is still waiting for the community to support them in completing or continuing uh, to find the rest of the funding insha'Allah for the for the land. All of you are invited to support and to give us a little bit more information about this project insha'Allah we have some representative of the Rotorvacht Islamic Society. We have Fadilat al-Sheikh Fuad Hendrix, the Imam of the Rotorvacht Masjid as well as Brother Rashad Fattar the secretary, let's welcome them. Assalamu alaikum, welcome. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Shaykh Zami. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, increase you, and use you for the service of God. Barakallahu alaikum, Shaykh Zami. I always say wherever there is ikhlas and sincerity, Allah open the doors. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and increase you from here, and I'm sure inshallah it's going to be a success. In the beginning, maybe Shaykh Rashad can give us a little bit of introduction. Where is Rotarvakht? and uh, what is this project is all about and uh, and uh, also tell us about what you what, what happened so far uh, now uh, the challenges is with the right of itself assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh the challenges that we face with is uh, just to brief a synopsis is merely the acquisition of the property with adjacent land on the property now the property is very strategically situated immediately opposite uh, the Majid mm -hmm. uh, and that is very key, uh, it's very strategically positioned for the madrasa needs as well as for our feeding needs. We do however have a very big need uh, where a lot of our community members also sleep hungry at night and we do run feeding programs as well from the Majid. Mashallah. Now, coming to you, uh, for the Sheikh Fuad, uh, tell us about the community of the Rotorvacht Islamic Society and how how uh, this land is important to the to the project and to the welfare of the whole society and to facilitating the Islamic work. Yes. Bismillah ar rahim Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Salatu wassalamu ala yasrahu al-Sareem, Sayyidina wa biyana, Umulana Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, uh, Sheikh Sami, I've been now there 20 years, Alhamdulillah. Allah. Allah. The time when we bought the uh, property, we bought it from a doctor who was the surgery. And uh, we have you developed the, the, the masjid, the masjid, the masjid itself. Mm -hmm. And Alhamdulillah, we've worked, we've built that uh, with the community Allah. and, and the Ummah, they've always assisted us. Masha. And Alhamdulillah, we, this property, which is now adjacent to the masjid, is so important because our uh, our goals for the future is about the Quran, is about Islam, is about serving humanity. The Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu said, Sayyidu Qawm Qadimuhum. No. So we would like to be of that, uh, so that, that we are going to serve the community. But nevertheless, the plan is always, well, the, the future generation is going to say, why didn't this Ummah think of the property? Yes. We, Alhamdulillah, everything is in place. So this property that we are going to buy, that we are sort of uh, 850,000, is going to be strategic for them and it's only available now. Mm -hmm. So we need to think uh, around that. And it's going to be also ideal when we going to have a, a high school presently. For Not now, sure. we need to secure that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, saw how the community grew in this need for um, uh, properties around the area because um, the area where the masjid is in this house is, is 60% of rate of work must come past there. Mm. So it's strategic for the uh, uh, ideal for da'wah according to Islam. Allah. Now that the masjid is there, they see the Muslims are there. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah, our adhan is going up five times a day. Salah is five times a day there. Alhamdulillah, I didn't see a uh, sheikh 
the amazing thing that we know Allah is the one, the doer. And uh, we have built that masjid and the madrasa was running, you know, the salah was running, the Jumwa, your big nights, your programs, everything was running. And we were putting up this big masjid at, the, uh, at this particular. So uh, we depend on Allah, Allah, but Allah wants us to what? To communicate into. And I think this is the multiplier. The masjid is the multiplier. And we need to approach. Otherwise, if, they were, if we had time, we would have worked more to get it, but time is against us. Mm -hmm. And I would like to appeal uh, to whoever, uh, you know, wants to invest, uh, like uh, Sheikh has pointed out, for the Akhirah, Sadaqatul uh, Jariyah, uh, for your mother, for your father, this is an ideal opportunity. And this, we are going to buy this in, in the name of Reitavak Islamic Society. It's like me buying a property for me, and whatever I buy, it belongs to me. This is going to be belong to the masjid, and it is going to be waqaf. It has been. We have a track, good track record, alhamdulillah, of looking after that, after that amana, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with Allah, me. Allah, Allah. Allah. subhanallah. While, while you are talking, I remember. Yes. Uh, I remember that sister, I think her name is Sarah, that one who donated oh. the first property for the first for the first masjid, awal masjid. Yes, yes. And and yeah. how those people and the great thawab that they are receiving from Allah Azza wa while they are in their graves. But they are receiving the great thawab for what they did. And when I look at the ancestors here in Cape Town, yes. uh, or Muslim ancestors, and they had a vision to invest for the deen, to establish Islamic yes. uh, institutes. Masajid, Madaris, and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserved the deen because of, because of these, uh, what, what they settled there and what they built for the ummah. Yes. And, and now you're saying that this is something that we don't want our future generations to say, why you didn't purchase this? Yes, yes. Uh, it's an opportunity, as you say. Great opportunity. Uh, a great opportunity. And we ask everyone who's watching us right now, yes. uh, and I'm sure there are so many good people who will, inshallah, get in contact with Fadilat al-Sheikh uh, to, to help, inshallah. inshallah this is a great opportunity. Yes, now. they must get straight. The, all the details are there. The, we don't want anything. It's between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and them. And I'm, I'm sure... I'm sure Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided us here. Mm. We didn't intend, we just, by the way, they could have met someone of Hilal TV, Allah and they Allah. said, just come. And when that opened up, we were, we were, I would say, scared to come. And I mean, in Sheikh this morning, making things, making us comfortable, relax. Allah. We Allah. And that is what we look, that sincerity. And we depend on Allah and Allah alone. And we see how they are bombarding our masajids in Gaza. We said, but we need to be positive here. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we, uh, they put up one masjid there, and Allah built what? In other masjid, in Allah. other parts of the Allah. world. Allah. So Allah is, 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 is the one that we ultimately depend yes. on. Mm -hmm. But this is how Allah Ta'ala wants us to interact as an ummah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 coming to again to the project for this year, or the projects that you intend to yes. do in this in this uh, uh, land, inshallah, once it's purchased, I believe you, you said we have limited time. Yes, we have about the end of October. Of, of we this need month. to have this eight fifty. Uh, after one, one week, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and we've worked hard. But you, you collected how much so far? We collected, I would say, what is the figures? Uh, uh, we're looking 50? at seven hundred fifty. No, what, 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 what you collect? Yes, but now keeping yet. in mind, there's also pledges that with envelope drives. Mm -hmm. Now, those we cannot quantify. Now, the challenge is this. We said with a big shortfall of around about 850,000. 50, and 750,000 was, alhamdulillah, we make sugar that we have somehow got a pledge, but not yet in the, in the bank. With the magic itself, alhamdulillah, through our effort, has given 200,000 deposit. And uh, with another uh, three, four hundred thousand that has been uh, collected, uh, but we sit with that big shortfall of mm -hmm. eight hundred and fifty thousand. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we're looking at the sustainability of the project, it is merely the fact that we need those that can afford, even if it's as little as two thousand rand, hundred thousand rand, and give a sadaka to Jaria to the to the parents out there, you know, I always said, I would have loved this to give to my mother. Now you have the opportunity to give for the house of Allah. Sahih. Yeah. And uh, Sheikh, uh, uh, to add on to what uh, Rasad is saying, Allah Ta'ala says, Man dalladhi yukridullah qardan hasana, 
you know, the terminology that Allah used, loan. So we were thinking and we were speaking as a committee. We were saying, even if the person don't want to give what the, the, the whole amount as a donation, please give it as a loan to us and we, the society, will take a commitment to repay. We even prepare um, to go that way because um. we, we do have the money on a, a monthly basis. There is an income coming in, Sheikh. No. There is an income coming in and there is what we do. But the banks is not going to give us a loan because uh, we are an NGO. I don't know what terminology is, but we don't qualify for that. We mm. were thinking of going that way not to have this stress. Mm. So now if we're going to go and make a personal loan of a person giving, giving us this amount, even the whole amount, and then we can go on with our daily basis, somebody that can invest. And let his, ma- his money lie there. It's a win-win situation. You get your money back after a few years without any pressure, and we don't pay any interest. And uh, the masjid, uh, we secure this property. So there's two ways that we were looking and discussing. Either we get the donation, all this money, Allah must send somebody that will make a loan, physical loan, and put in papers and uh, and and in place, and we pay that person back. 20,000 in a month, then we can do that is achievable for us. But to go to the conventional banks and ask them for a 1.6 or 850 and what you must pay back, it, is, 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 mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense for an Sorry. organization. And this belongs to the Ummah. This is the thing about the masjid and these properties. You know, it belongs to the Ummah, whether you from Egypt. You got the right to come in our masjid at any time. When so, I from Cape Town, if I come to Egypt, the masjid any is masjid. there for me. Yes. I can oh, wash me, relax me, do that, and so on. So Sorry. we from that, we, so we playing, and we know locally our people's heart. They isn't. I mean, I don't want to praise them. They know who they are, but uh, that's why we're sitting today over three hundred. Uh, what? Uh, massages do we have yes. here because of this uh, uh, people with this kind heart. Today people were leaving for Umrah just of the kindness of our people mm-hmm. and we know but they don't know if we are not going to come mm-hmm. and ask their mm-hmm. even, even if it's small amounts even if you yeah, whatever, uh, it is, whatever we, amounts we, we, we will accept yes. you know that's yeah. it. why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, لا تحقرن من المعروف شيئا. Don't Allah. underestimate mm-hmm. any good. That sadaqa yes. or the debit order that some people will make yes. for the yes. masjid, inshallah, it, yeah. can, it can help. I'm sure, inshallah, some of the business community who are watching Ameen. us right now, Ameen. maybe they're Ameen. going to invest and say, I'm Sheikh, I'm Ameen. taking the whole, the whole, the whole project. I would like to see this in my, in my life. I've been 20 years now being an imam, and I not only but a little, Inshallah, there's going to come great uh, scholars and uh, our youth is going to come and Imam is going to lead the community. For now, Allah has put me there. I'm almost 65 one of these days. Uh, four, two, three years, I'm going to be 65. When we're done, so we would like to put in the foundation that things that's going to be there that we can look back and say, this is what we did. Allah and you take it further, uh, inshallah. Allah Akbar. Mm-hmm. This is a, well, may Allah prolong your life in the ta'a of Allah. Azza wa Jal. Yeah. Yeah. All of us, inshallah. Uh, and, 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 and subhanAllah, Allah, we, we see this as alamat, as signs yes. of, of salah to the community, the whole community that they are trying to support and trying to help. And I'm sure, Fadl Sheikh, inshallah, we're going to get the land. And inshallah, Ameen, it's, going to be, it's going to be built. And the pious Ameen. people and those who want to Ameen. be on the footsteps of Sayyidina Uthman, on the footsteps of Sayyidina Abdul Rahman ibn Ameen. Awf, on the footsteps of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq, there Allah. are so many, there are plenty of them Allah. who want to make business with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who want to invest with Allah azza wa jal, and they're Ameen. going to contact inshallah. Ameen. The contact details for the sheikh, or maybe the banking details, or the, the, I believe the banking details will be hard, but yeah. maybe the, the contact details, if someone wants to get in contact with yes. you, uh, or with the yes. with Rashad, Maybe yes. you can share the phone number. Yes, uh, we can do that. Uh, the contact details that we have is either myself, uh, Rashad Fatar, on 081 I can also contact our treasurers, uh, Yusuf Lakhtay, as well as Rashad Sali, on their contact numbers as well. Uh, which we will uh, obviously publish, and maybe if Sheikh can now ever put it out there. Uh, the bank details is of utmost importance, and we sincerely and vigorously appeal. I think it's more appeal with a bit of shivers that I have, you know, because in our Malabi Niyat, it's a thin. This is a golden opportunity for those that really want to give. And you're not only going to give, but also to give 
for your loved ones that have passed on that you can have a a, a part of a majid you Sorry. know part so of part of the acquisition no and the bank details that we have is the should i read out the bank per, perhaps, details? Gonna... perhaps we, we will call upon people that who wants to have the bank yes. to contact us to contact. Yes. and we will send them the banking yes details, inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. Okay. i mean and i think in essence in uh, in brief is merely our appeal is uh, the deadline is very near uh, by the end of october uh, we set a couple of days away from now so the milestone that we need to reach is in a few days mm -hmm. so uh, our heart goes out the, the opportunity goes in to have this acquisition of property but also the opportunity for those and i'm going to reiterate this for those that is in the capacity to either give us a loan as sheikh mentioned or those that can give towards the uh, parents or those that is ill or those that is you know if you want to bring good here in your life Inshallah. you know and may allah increase that and we, we sincerely appeal strongly to, for this uh, any any amount will be of assistance Amen. inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to make a way Amen. inshallah Amen. i'm 100 percent sure of that may Amen. allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open the doors and open the hearts of people who want to make an investment for allah azza wa jal and keep something as sadaqatun jariya perpetual charity for them any final message for them to the sheikh subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says innama ya'mur masajid allah man amana billahi wal yawm al akhir wa aqama salah wa ata zakah wa lam yakhsha illa allah so uh, it is those who have iman and have taqwa and have consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that uh, are building masjid. This is really building and taking our masjid to uh, the next uh, level. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, uh, uh, Man bana lillahi subhanahu wa baytan uh, fi dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, uh, will build for him. So the Prophet said that if you're going to build here, you, you know, Allah is going to look to us. So uh, this is like we have uh, emphasis that this is an opportunity and uh, we would like uh, uh, to see this project in our lifetime at least being secured for this Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Jazakumullah khair al May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala reward you and bless you and continue to use you for the service of the Ummah as Mafatiha khairin. غليق شر اللهم امين يا رب العالمين. I wish I could say like you were saying it, Sheikh, but inshallah our intention is Allah must grant Sheikh also health and wealth and and keep you. I think you are South African now, but Allah must keep you in Cape Town. Amen. What does it protect you and you and your family? Amen يا رب العالمين. جزاكم الله خير الجزاء. الله يتقبل منا. الله شكرا. All right, with that we came to the end of the segment of our program. We taken a short break. We'll come back after the break. Inshallah.